Welcome to the DeSoto Approach with Jake and Logan. Well, I don't know if you would call them aliens. Maybe they're not called that. <laughs> Let's go. All right, everybody. Welcome back to another amazing episode of the DeSoto Approach. Amazing. How are we feeling, Logue? What are we feeling thinking, great. big dog? I'm what are we thinking? Great. Are you? Yeah, I'm you sound feeling great. Good. You got a just, fresh haircut. Yeah, you look got fucking hair, good. Got a haircut, shave the face. That always feels good for the dude. It feels good, You're fresh but man, I'm dude. sweating my nuts off. I don't know why. Every time I shave my face, my like my face just gets really sweaty. Do you know why that is? It probably happens when you shave your balls usually, like, too. Usually, like soaks it up. I bet your beard probably normally absorbs some of it. Like the moisture, so it doesn't feel sweaty. Huh. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> You're on that smooth shaved skin right now. Yeah. It's running down the side of your cheek like fucking nobody's business, dude. Look like I'm 19. You look like Superman, kind of. Superman. Fresh shaved with a short haircut. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's... you know Superman, Logan? <laughs> <laughs> your first time hearing a Superman? Who's that guy? Superman. Hi. <laughs> like... uh, yeah, but what are we thinking, Big Dog? What do we What do we got this week? <clears throat> um, I want I, I want to talk about. Uh, we don't have to talk about this yet, but I want to talk about uh, uh, Pablo Escobar at some point. Oh, all right, all Dude, right. I started Dude, watching I was, Narcos. I watched like the first few episodes of it a it's, few years ago, and it was so good. And then for some reason, I stopped watching. I just can't get into drama shows that much. It's tough. It's. I don't know. It's like watching I, it, a really it, long movie. Yeah, because it's 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 also hard because it's mainly Spanish. Like you have to. Yeah, it's like all Spanish, isn't it? Yeah, like you, what I watched was like ninety percent Spanish, like eighty percent of the time. Yeah, which I, I don't really mind that. Like I watched, uh, I think we talked about that show Messiah that I watched. A lot yeah. of it's like in other languages, so it's a lot of subtitles, which I don't mind. Sometimes it's fucking annoying, but. Yeah, it's not I feel bad. like it adds though. It adds to the, to the show though. Yeah, if they did it in English, at. it's like yeah, Pablo Escobar's yeah. not speaking fucking <laughs> yeah. English the whole time. <laughs> yeah, just clean English. Like we just watched this show. It's called Queen of the South, dude. I know you don't like drama shows, but this there's a lot of fucking crazy shit that happens in the show. It would it it might be the best show I've fucking ever seen. Like it might be, my, Dude, maybe not ever, maybe not the best show, but it's my probably my favorite show I've ever seen. I, have you it's seen about the cartels and stuff? But they they oh, all speak is? English with like yeah. a like a a little bit South of a, American accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Colombia is it like Colombian or like Mexican cartels? Uh, it's like a mixture, mainly Mexico. But I gotcha. But yeah, it's like there's. They mix in some Spanish, but it's like, dude, they're not speaking English. Yeah. The whole yeah. Time. <laughs> but it's so. Uh, good. Yeah, dude, I, I don't watch a lot of. Because I get super into shows. Yeah. Like, I, wa- I fucking binge watch them. So, like, I watch mostly just like comedy stuff. I don't know, it's easier. Like, when I was watching Seinfeld, I watched all of Seinfeld in like fucking two months, but you don't have to follow the plot line. Like, yeah, I'd watch it when I fall asleep. Episode. Yeah, it's on in the background while I'm like doing shit. Like, I'm watching it, but I'm not really. Cause you don't have to follow the plot, like I said. Like yeah. dude, you can skip three episodes. You can watch a random episode in the middle of season six of Seinfeld, and you get it. It's not related to the like. There's plot lines throughout, like different people that Elaine dates or something, like or whatever. There's like callbacks to other episodes, but it's not like if you watch a random episode of season three of fucking Breaking Bad, you're gonna be so lost. <laughs> like you can't do that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you have to pay attention. It's not gonna make any sense. Uh, have you seen Breaking Bad, by the way? No, but Dude. once you said that, it reminded me that I want to watch it because I've it's been probably the best show it. I've ever seen. I've heard it's unbelievable. It's so good. I watched a, it a long Better time Call ago. Saul is really good too, which is kind of yeah. Like based the, it's off it's that, a right? spinoff of it. Yeah, because uh, Saul Goodman is uh, Walter White's lawyer in the show. Yeah, so he's like okay. a shady ass lawyer that does a bunch <laughs> of shady shit. Yeah. <clears throat> Hell yeah. But yeah, I've heard I haven't watched that, but I've heard it's really good. I, I would say Breaking Bad was like maybe the best show I've ever seen. Yeah. Also, Sons of Anarchy, dude. I used to be fucking obsessed with I Sons seen of that Anarchy. Either. That's another one that's that was big. It's that good. I just never it's saw. a it's not as good. It was like my favorite show for a while. Just because it's so fucking cool. They're in a biker gang. It's yeah. really good too. The first season, 
Honestly, the first season of every good show, like the first season of Breaking Bad kind of sucks too. The first season of Sons of Anarchy, it doesn't suck. It's just slow and you it's boring. To, but then once they There's hook not you, that much action. Yeah. But you need, like I've always said this, for comedy shows, like they can start out being good because it's just is funny, whatever. Yeah. But like you need the boring plot line dialogue setup for like a show like Sons of Anarchy or like Breaking Bad. Yeah. That like builds into like the more dramatic stuff because then there's more character development. So you're like, whoa, that happened. Like, yeah. I would say my, one of the best. You can tie it back. My to favorite episode and maybe one of the best TV episodes ever is the last episode of season three of Sons of Anarchy. Dude, when I first saw that, I fucking lost my mind. I don't know <laughs> if anybody that. out there has seen Sons of Anarchy because it's the single best episode of TV I've ever seen. It's so good, but. <laughs> Can I just you go have watch to it? watch. No, it won't be good. If you just go watch, if you've never seen the show and you just go watch it right now, it won't be good. You're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. You have to watch the fucking every bullshit, like stupid dialogue that's so boring in season or episode three of season one that's just not good. But yeah. it all builds into it and then it fucking peaks out, dude. Yeah. 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 And it's, it's so good. That reminds me of like when we were watching the show. So it kind of starts like that. It kind of starts a little like the first couple episodes are I mean, that's how every good show really is. That's what it I'm saying. You need slow. that slow shit. But then it like builds up, like you were saying, when it pops off, then it's fun because you're like watching it and you uh -huh. can be like especially like if, if you're watching it with someone you could bounce ideas off them, be like, Oh you really like oh, this, you really get to know the characters too. Yeah, like I'm calling yeah. it like so and so is gonna do this to so and so. And then it fucking happens, you're like Fuck yeah, let's go. Fucking call yeah. it. But you only Dude, that, know that because you watched, you like rode the ride from the beginning of the Yeah, dude. And you know, show. like, it means more when they do something wild because you yeah. know the character better. Yeah. So when they do something like out of character or something like super, like, like I was kind of joking about it. Like when Molly and I were watching Top Gun, I just kept going, dude, that's so Maverick. <laughs> like shit like that though. Like Jax Teller, like, yeah. dude, that's so fucking Jax Teller, dude. He's the main <laughs> character in uh, Sons of Anarchy. But like that episode, there's like a fucking big twist and you're like, holy shit, he did that. And then there's a fucking another big twist back yeah. the other way and you're fucking losing your mind, dude. It was, yeah. it was good, dude. That's it's really, so good. That's so impressive how people are like how writers of shows can like come up with those ideas because it's such a big idea. Like all of those 45 minute long episodes, like all of those, like five, six seasons, however many seasons it is. And yeah. they somehow like the good ones can somehow like tie in every fucking season into like, yeah, just like, that's why a lot of good form. shows aren't that long. Like breaking bad's only like five seasons. Oh really? Uh, but it's per it's the perfect it amount. Longer for some reason. The yeah. way they went out, like you can't keep it going forever. Yeah. Like they I don't sucks. think this is any. I don't think this is any spoilers, but they're selling meth in it. <laughs> like you can't just do that. Like you can't just make a show that goes on for twenty seasons right. where there's like, because there's always bad stuff happening. Like they almost get caught. They almost do this. Whatever. People are fucking getting killed. Like yeah. You can't keep doing that and make it still good and believable it has to come to an end like yeah. i think sons of anarchy was almost like two seasons too long yeah. like it's always just bad shit like i just want not even a whole season just one episode of them like just cruising around and everything goes right like it's always like they have some job like they're in a biker gang they're criminals just jack's the main character happening. yeah he's trying to like legitimize their business like so they're not just all completely illegal they're like they sell guns illegally and shit and it's always like they have a plan. They're going to go sell guns to these guys. But this other biker gang like ambushes them. Someone gets killed. Whatever. Like a bunch of like, but it's every episode. It's like, dude, let one thing good happen. Like these guys are <laughs> badasses. Let them fucking have a day off. You know, yeah. I just want to see that. Like not even no, con no conflict in the story for one episode. <laughs> just them cruising around their motorcycles, having a good time. Like, yeah, tragedy doesn't have to strike every goddamn yeah. five minutes. In this and you show. just said, but yeah, it is you good. Just have yeah, it's good, but you just have con like if you get into the show, you just have constant fucking anxiety the whole time. You're like, yeah, you don't. And it's know like what's seven happen. seasons so of weird. that. It's like, oh, this can't just keep. Yeah, and the ending, dude, the worst ending ever. <laughs> That's like Dexter, dude. Did you see dude, Dexter? 
I watched the first like two seasons of Dexter. It was so good, the dude. The ending. Sucks. I almost want to spoil the fucking ending of Sons of Anarchy <laughs> because it's so goddamn dude, it's bad. Been out for so long, who cares? Dude, I watched it. seven goddamn seasons of that show for it to end this when way, it, and it made me so bad. Let me look up so when it bad. got canceled. I didn't get canceled. It, it ended. It ended. Oh. Well, I guess I don't know if they canceled it and they ended that season, whatever. But I'll look up when it ended, and if it ended sometime in the last. Oh, ended in 2014. So you could see Yeah, a long time shit. ago. I watched it, I think, uh, freshman year of college. But yeah, the first season's so slow. Like, I would always talk about it. And Gilly finally was like, fuck it. I want to watch it when we live <laughs> together. And I was like, dude, I'll rewatch it with you. Like, it's my favorite show ever. Yeah. I rewatched, like, the first two or three episodes. I was like, dude, I can't fucking watch this. Yeah. Like, I already know what happens. It's so boring. Like, the plot line isn't interesting the second time you see it. Yeah. Like, I can watch a comedy movie. I've watched Superbad fucking 50 times, dude. I laugh every time. Dude. I laugh every time. Do you... That that made me think of something. I I have this thing where I'll watch something by myself. Like, let's say, like, Dexter, for example. I fucking love... I love Dexter. I love that show. For like You're talking about co- Dexter's Laboratory, right? Yeah, yeah. The cartoon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. D&D. Well, yeah. <laughs> Dexter... What the fuck's this? What's the song? I don't fuck, remember, dude. dude. That song, that show dude. Fucked, though. That song is so nostalgic. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> What's I have the this bad thing- guy? Fuck. All right, you go. I was, I was yeah, like- <laughs> I have this thing where if I watch a show like with like Dexter, like I, I, dude, I've watched it twice. Like I watched it at the, like towards the beginning of college and then I like didn't see it for a couple years. And then I just watched it again because I, like, forgot a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I have this thing where, like, I am – if I really like something, I'm, like, willing to watch it with – like, like, Kyla. I'll be like, we should watch Dexter. Like, yeah. Knowing that she hasn't seen it, like, I'll willingly watch it again because for some reason I love, like, watching something I've already seen with someone who hasn't seen it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Or – I yes, I yes, same thing. Uh, I like, dude. That's what, dude. Molly will fucking piss me off when we're watching <laughs> stuff because I'll be watching it and I'll be so into it, and I'm I like, like spoil it. Are you seeing this? Like we were watching that show alone the other day, and uh, yeah, fuck it, whatever. It's not a spoiler, whatever. So one of the guys, like, <laughs> so I was watching. She kind of watched like a bit of the first episode with me, like a bit of a couple episodes, and then the other night I was in like episode four or something, four or five. <clears throat> And she was watching it with me. And I'm fucking fully invested. I can't, like, multitask. Like, we were talking about, like, I can't listen to music and, like, do homework when I was in school. Like, I yeah, couldn't do it. I'm same. fucking I focused on something. So yeah. I'm fully focused on watching this. And she's, like, on her phone, like, looking at shit, which, whatever. People do that all the time. But uh, she just doesn't give a fuck about this show. But I'm so <laughs> but invested in it. Be, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this dude I know exactly fucking, what you mean. Spoil, spoiler alert, but this guy, one of the guys fucking kills a deer, which is huge. They're all eating, like, berries and shit. One, like, one guy killed a fucking fish that was, like, this big. And they were like, this is huge. This is food for, like, three days. This guy killed a fucking deer, dude. That's, like, he got, like, 80 pounds of meat off of it. Like, that's, like, food for weeks out there. He hadn't yeah. eaten any meat for two weeks when he killed that deer. Jesus. Like, it was a fucking huge moment. And I'm, like, freaking out. And Molly's, like, looking at Instagram. And I'm, like, fucking, do you not see this? Dude, he killed a deer. He's going to fucking win. Like, I don't know. It's it just so funny. Like, she just could not fucking care less about it. Like, so I do agree. Like, I want other people to be as excited about shit as I am when yeah, I'm watching I, that's, stuff. I think you nailed it, actually. That's I think that's what I want to when I'm doing that. When I'm like, oh, like I will watch this again. Like you should, we should rewatch the this Netflix special that I saw. It's fucking hilarious. Like I'll do it with Jordan all the time. Like I'll watch something. Yeah. And I'll like rewatch it with him. Yeah, that's true. I watch, like I said, a lot of comedy stuff. I'll rewatch and like I'll fucking laugh every time. Like, dude, I've yeah. watched Shane Gillis' special, like, probably That's how seven you know times. it's fucking funny. It's so fucking funny, dude. It's yeah. so goddamn funny. I don't know how many clips of that special I've watched. Like, I, like I've like i watched the whole thing a few times, but I've seen, I've looked up. Oh, I always clips get it. clips on TikTok, and it's always, I don't know if it's the same account. I guess I don't pay attention, but it's always TikToks of someone playing the game Skate. 
like the video game skate. Oh yeah. And the sound is just laid over it of him jokes from that special. I get yeah. fucking one a day on TikTok what is of the- like seeing that. Dude, what? I don't is know. I that? see a bunch of them. I saw. Have I saw one the... with Tom Segura the other day. Like it's a bunch. It's always videos of someone playing skate. Yeah. Have you and seen? It's the just comedy over Andrew it. Tate stuff. Of uh, like what? I've seen a bunch of his shit. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> fucking out. Of you always send me Andrew Tate shit, dude. He's dude, fucking he's so funny. Everywhere he's, dude. So, I mean, people. I mean, a lot of people have talked about like, that guy is out of control. It's fucking wild, dude. A lot of people have talked about how he's like all over your pages and things like that. Yeah, he's a he's a good like social. It. He's got a huge social media like presence. Well, the thing lately about it is, he's he doesn't blown even have. Up. Yeah, he doesn't even go on TikTok. Like he said it multiple times, he doesn't have a TikTok, but he has this affiliate marketing program. It's like a pyramid yeah, scheme. Yeah, see, where basically he gives and he's people, fucking like, funny. Yeah. Oh, he's like, dude, he's fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. he's fucking wild. Like, he's a wild boy, but oh yeah, yeah. But he's fucking. He knows how to entertain for sure, and he he pays these kids like an insane amount of money just to get somebody to sign up for his university, his hustlers university. (laughs) Oh, he's got like a Trump university. (laughs) Yeah, it's just like that, and basically all these kids just go out and they make these Andrew Tate accounts and then they just like make videos. They pull shit off the, off the internet and like make their own clips of him. So there's just like fucking tens of thousands of videos of him just fucking going out every week. Oh yeah. They're everywhere. I see a couple like every day from him. So he's just taking I guess I don't, I don't, yeah, I never see (laughs) clips of his account like posting shit. He's just on, or like he's always on other people's podcasts. Like he did your mom's house and stuff. Yeah, that uh, was a long time. That was like the beginning. That was before he even went hard in the I was gonna say. social media. But that was kind uh, of the first time a lot of people heard of him. Dude, speaking of amazing entertainers, there's a new Alex Jones documentary coming out. Did I send you that? <laughs> Dude. Yes. <laughs> I fucking love Alex Jones. Now, I don't love everything that he said. He's the most entertaining person in the world. He's like Andrew Tate. Like, I don't agree with Look, everything he says. Did they fake the Sandy Hook funny. shooting? Did they fake the Sandy Hook shooting? Of course they did. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, they didn't do that, maybe. But he said a lot of wild shit. But he's the most entertaining person. He's right about a lot of shit, too. He really is. Yeah. But there's a documentary coming out about it. We were texting about it the other day. I'm really excited because people fucking hate on Alex Jones so much. So like him, he's deplatformed off of everything. He can't be on Twitter. He can't be on fucking Google. Like he can't be on anything. He has his on own Google? website. He's banned from Google, dude. How are you banned from Google? Like his website doesn't come up on Google. I don't think. Oh, that's like what anything. You mean. I like you Google. Meant like he's he can't have from like going on Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, like kind of. Like he can't have a Google account. Like, I don't think oh, he can okay. have a Gmail. Like, I don't think he can have any of that shit. His, There's, like, banks that won't let him up. bank with them. Like, they fucking depersoned him. He is not a person anymore. But he has his own we- his own website, which is just called de-person. band.video is his website. <laughs> We've talked about this. Where he sells fucking supplements, dude. He sells, like, zinc supplements and shit. But he's bigger than he's ever been. He said on his own website he makes so much fucking money off of this <laughs> bullshit, like, magnesium supplement bullshit that he's selling uh but he this documentary that's coming out about him is apparently the i think it's a lady that made it i think uh so glenn greenwald posted something about it on twitter and he was saying that the lady that did is like super subjective or objective what am i trying to say here Object, super objective <laughs> yeah subjective that's Fuck, exactly what you want from someone making a documentary <laughs> <laughs> it's completely opinion based. <laughs> no, but it's just like about. Apparently, it's just about. It's just gonna be about like how he got famous, like what where he comes from, because he's been doing this shit forever. Like the yeah, early nineties, he had old. like a TV show on like uh local some local TV channel in Tech. He's from Texas. He just had some fucking on like public access TV. Him and it, like he just had someone fucking film him, and he would go do all the same shit like. 
fucking <laughs> globalist, fucking all that shit. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, won't happen again. <laughs> Dude. Have you ever seen the uh, video? Dude, there's this video compilation. Sorry to interrupt you, but there's this video no, compilation of it. Where he's just going, excuse me, sorry, won't happen again. I'm a Christian. <laughs> like, it's just like a compilation of him doing shit like that. I don't know. It's fucking funny, dude, though. He's just it. so fucking... Dude, he's so funny. Like, he's one of the best entertainers. Like, he'll just go and he'll just rant about shit. And he knows all of this shit about everything. 50-50 made up, 50-50 true. 50% made up, 50% true. <laughs> like, he'll dude, be he right. He'll be, like, spot on about all this corruption shit. All of this stuff that's, like, happening, he has papers from, like, legitimate news sources about these crazy stories about, like, he was talking about, like, the human pig chimeras for a while where they're, like, blending the DNA of humans and pigs. And he's like, this is crazy. He's like, this, they're trying to control your lives with all this shit. They're doing this crazy shit. And then out of nowhere, he's like, and Hillary Clinton's an interdimensional pedophile vampire. Like, all this crazy <laughs> shit. Like, it's like, dude, you fucking, she's we're so close, man. Living yeah, under the lizard. Like, it's just fucking, he just goes, he's so close, and then he just takes a fucking hard left turn in a crazy land. Dude, I feel like but, that's why, I feel like that's, he does, he wants that, though. You know what I mean? Because he wouldn't be That's famous. why he's entertaining. He wouldn't be famous if he didn't say Hillary Clinton was an interdimensional pedophile. Yeah, like, that's, dude, the that's only why I famous. watch it. So I like, was watching a ton of his shit when COVID first started. There was a while when shit first shut down from COVID. I was getting a little worried. I was just... Because everything was shut down. Like, we're, people were scared to leave their houses and shit. We thought everyone yeah. was going to die. I'm staying up smoking weed till 3 in the morning watching Alex Jones videos talking Jeez. about how the fucking globalists are taking over. They're trying to sterilize everybody. <laughs> Jesus Like, Christ. just wild shit. But, dude, he's... <laughs> like I said, I don't fucking believe everything he says. But it's funny. It's funny to listen to. And... So yeah, like the I don't whole really thing was deplatforming everybody. But I like seeing it. It's funny. Yeah. Uh, I'm not like following him. Like I'm not like watching all of his like following his content. I don't get why I like seeing clips of him. It's funny. I don't get why it's like illegal to watch. Like why people want to deplatform and stuff. Like, dude, he's not saying we should fucking start a war. Okay, the the people <laughs> <laughs> the, the, some people were kind of harassing the Sandy Hook people, which is a little fucked up. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say that. Yeah. The Sandy Hook thing was a little fucked up. But, like, yeah. most of his stuff is pretty harmless. I want to watch it. Like, why am I not allowed to fucking watch videos of Alex Jones on YouTube? Like, people want to deplatform because they're like, oh, he's spreading misinformation, all this shit. It's like, do you think it should be illegal for me to have a conversation with Alex Jones? Like, do you think it should be illegal to do that? I don't think so. So why should it be illegal? Or, like, do you think that you're going to get fucking brainwashed by Alex Jones into thinking the Sandy Hook was faked? Maybe, because he comes with a lot of fucking hard facts, dude. <laughs> Kidding. But he does about some shit. The Bohemian yeah. Grove but stuff. Like you said, he just throws in bullshit, and then he completely yeah, discredits him. He just thinks that everything is a conspiracy. Yeah, he's so one of those everything guys for sure. has an angle. Like nothing can be real. Nothing can just you know what be I mean? Because he's right. Because he talks about a lot of shit that are conspiracies that really did happen. All this crazy shit, like the Bohemian Grove stuff. Like, do you know about that? No. What did we talk about that on here? That. No, I've never. Dude, heard Bohemian of that. Grove is fucking wild. It's where a bunch of like billionaires and shit go and do gay sex in the woods. They like they do. They like dress up and which is fine. You can do gay sex, dude. Nothing wrong with that. I've been to Iowa City. Gayest city in Iowa. <laughs> most butt sex per square inch. That's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is that all these super wealthy people, they go out in the woods and they dress up in robes and fucking goat heads and shit. And they're like sacrificing the effigy of a child to Moloch, the owl god. Dude, it's insane. Look it up. Look up Bohemian what? Grove. It's a real thing. All these like super wealthy people, like the CEOs of fucking Chase Bank and shit. How do you know? How do they? How does he know? He snuck in and filmed it. So it was, a, it was like a pretty, like, not well-known, like, not everybody knows about it, but it was like a known thing. But you have to, like, get invited. You have to, like, uh, not have, like, a password or some shit. I don't know. You have to get invited to it. It's all, like, super wealthy people, like, a lot of famous people, a lot of, like, powerful people in the government, senators and shit that go to it. Uh, and he somehow snuck in, like, with a camera crew and filmed it. Oh, okay. Yeah, 2,700-acre campground. 
belonging to a private San Francisco-based gentleman's club. See? That's all they tell you. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. Look up the video that he had. It's wild. They're like... The Alex Jones video? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's on YouTube. Yeah, Hold probably on. not, dude. <laughs> Fucking Bill Gates pulled it down. But what the it's fuck, wild. Dude? I don't know how to. But so he's like all day. His job for the last like 30 years is looking into shit like this. All this weird stuff that's happening. He's looking up like everything that's going on in like these Davos meetings. All the stuff that they're doing for like weird scientific research that like all the uh, gain of function research that they were doing before COVID. All the stuff with Jeffrey Epstein, he was talking about that in like the mid two thousands. <laughs> Look at this dude. For two weeks of heavy drinking, super secret talks, <laughs> druid super worship, talks. and other rituals. What the fuck is going on out there? It's in the middle of the woods. Their purpose is to escape frontier culture and uncivilized interests of common men. Okay. <clears throat> Former U.S. presidents, musicians, they do like barons. sacrifice. Not real. They have like a. It's like a fucking fake child that they like sacrifice to the fucking oh, here owl is. god or something. Yes, watch this. See, he snuck in with the camera. Oh, this is an hour and thirty minutes long. This is gonna be a long episode, guys. <laughs> I'm not watching that. Hold, skip skip watching. forward. See if you can find like the part where they're out there. Look how young he was. This was a long ass time ago. This is like the early 2000s, probably. See, it's out in the middle of the fucking woods. Wait, yeah. go to when it was dark. Yeah, right there. Look at this shit, dude. What are they doing? So if you're not watching this. He's filming it. It's a bunch of people. They're wearing like robes. They're all holding like tiki torches. They're like chanting some shit. Gather ye forest folk and cast your spell over these mortals. Dude. Dude, what the is... fuck is that, dude? This is real. <laughs> Whoa. That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> what? Dude, what the fuck? This is like the people that fucking run the world, dude. It's like super <laughs> extremely wealthy people, like I said. like. Wow. That's fucking nuts, dude. Holy it's shit. fucked up, right? Yeah. Like, that's, I mean, that's the Illuminati, I guess. That's all the people that are in the Illuminati, and they're out in the woods. They're fucking wearing robes. They're banging each other, which, again, is fine. Bang whoever you want. Don't dress up in a robe and uh, sacrifice up a Jesus of children until I'm like the owl god, though. I think yeah, we maybe. can come to a compromise there. Yeah, maybe don't do that. Don't huh? be fucking weird, dude. If you're running the country, don't be in the woods. They gotta escape if fucking you, I reality, feel like dude. that's a fucking... I feel like that's a fair compromise. If you want to run the country, don't do rituals in the woods. Yeah. Because it's like you fucking find weird. Other, yeah, what the fuck? Dude, what gets go them? bowling. <laughs> like, yeah, go, do or something go do else. something. Go buy a fucking... If you're gonna do that, this go buy a fucking weird. island or something. There's a lot of, like, weird secret that societies well. and stuff, though. Do you ever get into that? Yeah, dude, that did not age well. I don't know, man. It's wild. That they're out there doing that in the woods. <sighs> what do we do about this? But see, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. This is his whole life is looking up this kind of shit. And this is real. This is real. He's filming it happening. All the Jeffrey Epstein stuff he was like talking about in the early 2000s. He was talking about how there's some island where all these rich people go and fuck little kids. And everyone's like, hey, you're crazy. They don't do that. And then it came out. They just were doing that. How like hundred percent, that's real. That, that did happen, because he has like C like he genuinely does have like people think he's crazy, but he has like CIA connections. Like, dude, he was like kind of tight with Trump. Like, he knows Roger Stone pretty well, I think, who's like a political strategist. 
who's fucking also out of his mind. Like, he has a lot of... I think his dad was, like, in the CIA or his uncle or something. So he has a bunch of, like, deep state connections. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude. So he does like know a lot about the shit. He spends his whole day, like his entire career is like researching this shit, looking up any articles that come out of like any news sources all over the world on weird Sounds shit exhausting. coming out. It is. That's why he's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> like like if you were deep this into this for an all hour day, a week. yeah, dude. <laughs> if you're deep into this shit all day. You're just learning about all this crazy corrupt stuff, all this weird yeah. stuff that's getting covered up. The whole Jeffrey Epstein thing, like that is you, too you almost really too to crazy to seem real. Yeah. Like, cause that was real. There 100% was an island where a bunch of rich people were going and like fucking little kids. Yeah, 100% gotta, that was real. Yep. It's just completely open. It's not even hidden now. It's not even like a conspiracy theory. Like 100% yeah. that is true. And then he went to prison and hung himself. That's 100% true, too. Yeah, dude. We all believe that one, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so you can not forgive him, but if all of this shit is real, and, like, he's looked into stuff forever. Like, he was, I think he was pretty big in a 9-11 being an inside job, which there's some pretty shady evidence there. <laughs> But, like, <laughs> he knows that this stuff is happening. Operation Northwoods, the Gulf of Tonkin. Like, this stuff has happened before. So, again, not that you should forgive him, but the Sandy Hook thing, there was a lot of weird evidence that it was faked. Not evidence. I don't know. I'm not saying anything about Sandy Hook. I'll say that. Yeah. We're, we're staying away from road. Sandy Hook. We're going to have to delete half of this fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but... When your whole day is just filled with shit being covered up, shit being, like, changed by the media. I don't really. I don't know. It's don't just why I feel like if you look at, like, I feel like if you look at something long enough, too, you could find a way to make it seem like a conspiracy, which is yeah. what he fucking does. And then sometimes it That's turns out I'm to saying. be true. He looks at everything. As he looks at it as a conspiracy first, yeah, which is and then finds not what evidence do, but... to support that it was, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but for entertainment purposes, that's what you should. It's do. amazing. <laughs> it's outstanding, dude. Yeah, and I should be allowed to watch it. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, which I guess sure. it's not illegal. He's not getting arrested. Like he has his own website and shit, but <laughs> I got to ban dot video and buy fucking. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get some aluminum alloy out. supplements or whatever the fuck he's selling. Let's go to <laughs> go to Band Video. Let's see what he's fucking selling over here, dude. It's just constant fucking nightmare on that website all day. It's just fucking absolute fear porn. Oh my god. Dude, I'm wait, go I'm, down, go down. <laughs> uh wait, go up one little like legacy of lockdown Fauci. Oh dude, they were fucking eating up Fauci for a while. Globalist puppets in free fall worldwide. Removal of Biden. <laughs> <laughs> look up uh go on the side, see if you can look at what they're selling, dude. It's so funny. Do they have like I don't know all their videos, Bill, the, all their ads because they don't. Bill Gates is evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, hey, Project Veritas. All their because they don't have <laughs> they don't have sponsors. They're not fucking reading Athletic Greens ads on the Alex Jones show. <laughs> so all of their like sponsors or like their ads in their videos are just their supplements that they're selling. And it's just him over it. Good God, dude. They do not want bots on here. Here we go. Diet force. <laughs> Bodies. Supercharge. <laughs> All this uh, shit is stuff. Alex's Wars war, life, dude. dude. <laughs> That's the brand. <laughs> <laughs> Alex's war documentary, dude. I want to watch that. Wait, I think that might be the documentary. That's coming out. I think it comes out 
the 29th. I don't know. I, I'm excited to see it. It's it, so it's also someone like that, like that that's charismatic and like can g- amass this big of a following on shit. <laughs> it's interesting to me. It's super interesting to me. Not that I like I said, not that I don't like everything that he stands for and everything that he's saying, but it's interesting to me that a guy like that exists. Right? No, yeah. I mean, that's why he's as famous as he is. Yeah. I, I, he tra- he like whether people agree with him or not, he's people still want to listen. <laughs> yeah, I want to listen. <laughs> yeah, like they. Even I don't want to like believe yeah. everything he says, but I want to listen to that guy rant about shit, fucking Dude, screaming that. about the globalists because he gets so fucking worked up, he gets bright red. You're like, Rrr. I don't know. It's so funny. It's so I, fucking. Yeah. I limit it. I limit it to him being on other people's podcasts. I have. I. I'm not gonna. Yeah, go but all he doesn't get to, to the, like rant and go. Deep I'm not gonna on go stuff. on his fucking like when he goes and start watching videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I you might. Do that, yeah, dude. why? Because you might wake up, Logan. <laughs> no, dude, I don't. Have might learn a thing or two about the real world around you, the battle of good <laughs> and evil that eyes. we're faced with every day. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> Jeez, sorry, I'm a Christian man. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Alex Jones, dude. Yeah, Jesus, I get Christ. worked up. Thirty-six minutes of <laughs> fucking Alex <laughs> Jones, dude. I wonder how many fucking people are still listening now. Dude, everyone. <laughs> everyone that's listening is listening, dude. Yeah. All right, what what else we got? Oh, dude, so this. So yeah. I don't even know what this is from. Oh, do you want to the uh, do the AOC watch? one first? So okay. AOC is so full of shit, dude. Not even not even politically. I'm not saying I disagree or agree with her politically, but watch this shit, dude. They were out in front of something protesting and she posted that she got arrested watch this video if you're not if you're watching from home watch this watch it again. so they're walking her away and she looks like she's handcuffed she's being escorted by a police officer she got her hands behind her back like she's handcuffed she's not handcuffed she puts her arm up and then she puts it back down behind her right back like up. she's like she's handcuffed. She's making it look like she's handcuffed. And she's like getting escorted away by police. And there's it's no way the police act, singled her out of this entire crowd to arrest her. 100% she asked the police officer to do that. Yeah. Well, I want you to take a look at the one thing I noticed was the police officer's face. Look at his face here. He's just like, God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> like his she face puts tells her hand it all. up. His face tells the fucking story, dude. That guy is dude. not there to enforce anything. He's just that, like, so sh- this is what yeah. we're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So <clears throat> she does this, obviously, to make a scene. She knows people are going to be recording her. She knows that she knows it's gonna people be know who media. she is. She's doing this on purpose to make it look like she's being arrested for protesting. Which she's not. She was not arrested. She was just she walked away. She probably wasn't even protesting. I don't know. She probably just showed no. up. No. 100%. She away. showed up. That was the first person she talked to was that fucking police <laughs> officer. <laughs> and then, so she's making a big scene out of this. Obviously, it's a media thing. She knows how the media works. She knows what's going on. Yeah. Go to the Ilhan Omar video. Who's the? She's a senator or congresswoman from Minnesota. Dude. So this is, that's AOC right there. Who's being at least escorted away by a police officer? Watch this one, dude. This is insane. She's just walking completely by herself. There is no, no one within 10 yards with her hands behind her back like she's being arrested. Read the tweet. Read the tweet. She, and then she tweeted waves. This. She waves at the end, too. She tweeted this. Today I was arrested. Today I was part- arrested while participating in a civil disobedience action. No one is within 10 fucking yards of her. She's just... That's crazy, dude. You have to be out of your fucking mind to do that. Like, why do you have to fucking lie about this stuff? Why do you have to lie to everyone about this? Like, like, she's just doing that to get... Because you can't... There will be people that are like, She's just doing that to make herself seem... Feel better about herself. Or... You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, dude, it's so funny. Uh, like I said, I'm not even That's like disagreeing wild. with them politically or anything. It's That's just so funny. 
it's like, just why such are like you a so, media how are you, stunt thing. How are you so fucking clueless, dude? How are you so clueless? Like people aren't but dumb. This is Pol- the same thing. These are like politicians. They're young. They understand how stupid. this shit works. Everyone's talking. We're talking about this right now. That was the whole point of it. Yeah. That, like if yeah. she, I sure. don't know. I don't know. It's just funny. It is fucking funny though. That she's walking away with no one around her with her hands behind her back like she's being arrested. And oh then tweeting God. the video of that I saying arrested. I was arrested. Dude, you have to be out of your mind to do that. Yeah, dude. There's no way. There's no way that she didn't know that that was going to be like people were going to troll her for that. Like that yeah. had to be exactly. But like, the whole thing is said. that people are so crazy. There's people online that saw this video, saw this tweet, and were like, "Oh my god, she was arrested today for protesting for the reproductive rights of women." It's like, yeah, but obviously she wasn't arrested. But people are like, "She was arrested. This country's a tyrannical. We have a tyrannical government. All this stuff." Like, I don't know. It's just Jesus. funny. It's just yeah. funny. That makes no fucking sense to me. I mean, it makes sense, but it like they're why fucking they out of it? control. They're obviously doing it. Like, I mean, this has 11 million views. How many views does this Dude. one have? <laughs> oh shit! This one has two million. <laughs> Let's just read the comments. Puts her arm up at the end. Yeah, the arm up at the last second too. Dude, she had to know. She had to be fucking trolling people online. She had to have. 100 percent, dude. That video was way too perfectly dude. timed. To wave she, at the end and then the video just ends. So you have to watch it again. Dude, dude she's just, going and for then retention. the way Ilan Omar comes in after, dude, follows her. At least AOC is like getting escorted by a police officer. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Ilan Omar unquote, just escorted. comes in after. That's so funny, dude. I don't know, dude. Oh, look at this fucking MF. Happy birthday, Dad. What? Oh, that's Robin Williams, huh? R.I.P. These are not the comments. These are just other tweets. <laughs> oh, shit. They are? <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait. Yeah, they are. I Wait. thought... No, 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 no. Scroll down. It just says other tweets. Oh, I got to click... <laughs> or more tweets. I got to click more replies. I'm trying to... God, people are so dumb. How'd they arrest you if you didn't weren't handcuffed? Like, no shit, dude. You don't have to comment that. Have something more <laughs> clever. I was murdered. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I was murdered. Jesus. Okay. That's enough with that. Let's do something a little lighter here. Jesus. We're a political talk show now. Let's talk about it. Uh, yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, let's get this one going. So this is that this is the chef guy from Molly's uh culinary school that I met. Who's the fucking man, but watch this video. He posted this on Facebook. Chef Dave, dude. Got a nice teaspoon here. Ready, here we go. Mmm. It still tastes the black raspberries. This is level four. It's building. This is level four. It's Logan. building. Building. Oh my oh. god. Oh man, <laughs> it's gonna blow up in my mouth. Oh! oh. I think you'll like it. Level four, it's not too bad. It's just leaving a nice, nice warm feel, but man, oh man, it is good. (laughs) Holy shit, dude. Dude, he's fucking brilliant. Dude, how about the fact that that guy? How about the fact that he would have 10 million followers on fucking TikTok if he started? That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I was telling him when I met him. I was like, you have to... Because he posts stuff like this on Facebook, but it's just like on his personal Facebook account, whatever. And like we, Molly and I were watching something. I was like, yeah. dude, first of all, he's been a chef for like 40 years. Like he's like legitimately an expert. He taught at like at a culinary school. He used, He's owned like multiple restaurants. Like, dude, he like, no, like he's a legit expert. Like he knows what the fuck he's talking about. Grows all this shit in his yard. What that, uh, whatever he was making there. He grows all that shit in his garden and, like, makes it at his house. Like, dude, he's the perfect combination of, like, knowing what he's talking about and, like, being fucking hilarious. Like, unintentionally. Like, he's not trying to be funny there. Yeah. That wasn't him joking. Like, that's just how he is, dude. He's just so fucking goofy and funny. But I was like, dude, you would be famous on TikTok if you just started posting (laughs) those videos and shit. God, that's so funny. 
But, dude, I was dying laughing when I saw that. Holy shit. It's building. Yeah. It's building. It's about to oh! run. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's going to explode in my mouth. <laughs> God, dude. Like, that's so goddamn funny, dude. All right, what else we got, dude? Oh, uh, a couple, couple little personal stories. Um, well, they're, do we they're actually Kyla's stories, but she told me, and these are both fucking <laughs> insane, dude. So the first one, <laughs> this one's the least, least insane. She was driving to work yesterday, and uh, the the tra- the interstate was stopped. Like the traffic, she was going the other. She was on the other side of the interstate, so the the opposite side was like dead stop traffic and she came around the corner and there was a fucking guy at like 7 30 in the morning getting, <laughs> getting a fucking sobriety test on the <laughs> interstate dude like the most like the busiest part of fucking des moines iowa like the busiest fucking part of the interstate in the traffic it stopped all the traffic dude the traffic she said the traffic was dead stop for like five miles like oh all, my God. all the way back, dude. dude. Seven thirty in the fucking morning. I'd be, dude. I'd be torqued if I was trying to get to work. <laughs> like if I was gonna be le- or trying to get anywhere. And, and you fucking, late. you finally like you think someone's. You think there's a yeah, nasty accident. Yeah. You think a whole family died. And you get up there and there's some guy like. <laughs> <laughs> but, At fucking yeah, seven thirty a.m. Yeah, but yeah, I, I mean. On another note, it is good that a whole family didn't fucking die in a car crash. So, I mean, that yeah, that's is true. good that he didn't fucking kill anybody. But That's true. Anyway, there's this... An, on to the next story that's even crazier. So, this, so this guy... So, Kyla... At work, Kyla was talking to one of her coworkers. And he had, like, three monsters or rock star energy drinks on his desk <laughs> and she was like asking about him and then i can't i can't remember the story exactly because she told me like a week ago but um basically he's like yeah i uh he's like yeah i drink like three or four of these a day and kyle's like jesus you're gonna like have a heart attack <laughs> like you legitimately are gonna have a heart attack drinking three or four of those a day <laughs> It's and, also so much funny. Those fuckers are like four bucks a piece, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, get this, dude. So he's like, he's like, oh, you think that's bad? You should see so and so's office. So they went into this guy, other guy's office, <laughs> and he has, dude, he has a trash bag filled, <laughs> <laughs> like trash bag filled with fucking rock star. Or monsters, whatever it was, yeah. cans to the top, and it's like twenty fucking monsters, dude. <laughs> and it's like it's like twenty to thirty monsters, and he just goes, "Yeah, that's just from this week." And points at the Jesus. trash bag, dude. This guy drinks like eight to ten monsters a day, dude. <laughs> dude, just hey, just do cocaine like an adult, yeah, right? It's no probably shit. healthier for you than drinking ten monsters probably. a day. Probably. It genuinely probably is, dude. That's got to be so... The sugar, is he <laughs> just shitting ten. constantly? Dude, drink one full can of Monster. And I feel like shit after that. Yeah. Drinking... <laughs> dude. dude. <laughs> and he works like... They work like 12-hour shifts. Like... Like this guy's department works like twelve hour shifts, so he's dude, that he's guy's working one, fucking thirty six hour he's shifts. Fucking so he's running hard. 10 he's monsters. running hot for fucking twelve hours straight. He's got fucking he's got a monster per hour. He's about ten monsters he's per hour. He's running hot. Oh my god! Dude, I thought that was the fucking wildest shit ever. <laughs> how bad? How bad is Monster Two? Or have you had Rockstar? Dude, Rockstar's no. the worst one. I've never had oh, Rockstar. It's so actually. bad. I've had Monster. I, I've had the sugar free monsters, like the the white one. The Is white ones that? aren't terrible. It's pretty dude. The decent. other day, the other day I got Jimmy John's and they sell Monster there, and I was like, I was like, oh, I wanted to get some coffee or like a fucking energy drink or something. I had to go to work, and uh, they had Monster there. I was like, fuck it, I'll just get one of these, dude. I took like four sips of it and I fucking threw it away and went and Ugh. bought. Something else. It's just the regular monster flavor is so bad. Ooh, like the yeah green. Oh no. But 
Rockstar. I used to drink a ton of energy drinks. That I try to drink coffee now, or I've been doing, dude, these fucking adrenaline shock. Have you seen adrenaline shock? It's yeah, like a I've weird A. They're yep. not bad. I drank them. It doesn't make me feel like shit. There's no sugar in them. They're not fucking great tasting, but they don't make me feel like shit. Yeah. They have dude, you should a good try, amount of uh, caffeine, whatever. You should try these. There's these things called, they're called bucked up. And they're like, dude, you get fucking bucked up. Bud. Let's get bucked up. It's like, it's only 100 milligrams of caffeine. So it's not like fucking 300 milligrams, but yeah. it's like a white can. So they have, they have like black cans that are like 300 milligrams of caffeine, but then they have these like lighter white this cans more my speed. that are like a hundred milligrams, but they fucking taste amazing, dude. They're like my new favorite one. Uh, yeah. It's like a peach, it's like peach mango or something. I don't know. It tastes. Yeah. I don't even know how to but describe it, but it tastes really we, fucking good. So. I don't think I'd really had a rock star before. Maybe I'd tried one, but a couple years ago we were in Nashville and uh, we did a pedal tavern. And like while we were waiting for it, like out in front of it, this fucking bus comes up or it's like a giant ass van and it's a rock star van, like rock stars company, some guy that was out promoting <laughs> Ooh, and he man. comes out and he's like, you guys want to buy some rock stars? And we're all like, no thanks dude that sounds terrible and he goes <laughs> all right here he's like we're just out here doing some promotion he's like i got a bunch of them in here he's like you guys all take a picture with us he's like i'll give you each a free rock star there's like fucking 12 of us there's a big group that we had and we're like okay cool i was like dude i could go for some fucking rock star i was like if he's gonna give them to us for free i was like i could go for some energy drink right now like we'd kind of been drinking for a few hours like it was the middle of the day it was pretty warm like i was like i could i could use a fucking good pick me up yeah. and i fucking used to hammer energy drinks i yeah. still drink quite a bit of caffeine i just try to make it not fucking red bull all day just the amount like of sugar and bullshit natural. in that yeah. yeah and uh so we're like hell yeah we do it we we're talking to him. he's actually pretty cool so we all get one and nobody else wants to drink their airs i drink like fucking seven rock stars Jesus. and i wanted to throw up they were so fucking bad dude every yeah. we had like every flavor that they had we probably had five or six different flavors and yeah. I, I didn't drink all of fucking seven of them, but I probably drank half of seven rock stars. Every <laughs> no. single one of them was fucking terrible. And yeah. I felt like my inside was going to explode after that. They were so bad. Now imagine adding three to that and then having that every day. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's <laughs> insane. They're so bad. Dude, <laughs> and Kyle is just like, like, you're like, <laughs> like like not like you're gonna have a heart attack like he, she was just like i was like die. you're gonna die <laughs> I, I, I could see i was saying that too you're gonna die <laughs> you're, you're gonna die dude god oh my god that's so yeah, goddamn just funny. do cocaine that's what i'm saying dude you're an adult fucking act like you get me drinking monsters like you're a freaking redneck high school kid <laughs> dude i was i saw this uh thing on twitter that was like and it was like i just started watching narcos and then i saw this thing about pablo escobar on twitter it was today is the like the day we're recording this not the day that it comes out the um is the anniversary of the day he escaped from his own fucking prison dude. that he How built for the that? government to put he him built in the dude. fucking prison and then escape that shit dude <laughs> escobar was a savage me me and grant were like obsessed money. with dude was... he burned thirty thousand dollars in cash because they were on the run in the woods and his daughter was cold he's lit thirty thousand dollars in cash on fire to start a fire so she could be warm for five minutes didn't they burn like a lot more than that because they couldn't launder it Sure dude, he did. said, uh, burying it everywhere. they don't need to fucking launder it, dude. They're the cartel. You take the cartel's money. They're like as, they're like as fucking powerful as, uh, like some governments or like the fucking smiley face company. <laughs> dude, they're the like, cartel, all, like Pablo it, Escobar, oh, Pablo Escobar was like almost as dangerous. Yeah. He was almost as dangerous as the smiley face company. <laughs> He wasn't that fucked up, obviously, but yeah, he wasn't as uh, messed up as a smiley mom. No, for dude. Sure. So Grant and I, when we lived together, were like obsessed with cartel stuff for like two weeks. We were watching I'm, a bunch I'm of like documentaries. Right yeah. Dude, it's so interesting. That shit is so interesting to me. But there was this one. This guy was like uh, staying with them for a while and filming this documentary, 
and he's in the backseat of this car. They're just cruising around. They have fucking M16s on the dashboard and shit. They don't give a fuck. And yeah. they got a bunch of coke in the back. Like kilos and kilos. Like 20 kilos kilos of cocaine in the back. <clears throat> and uh, they get pulled over. And he's like, oh, fuck. Because like, this guy's just some asshole with a camera. Like to the police. Like the, he would have gotten arrested too. Yeah. The cop starts coming up. And the driver just puts a fucking giant machine gun on the dashboard and points it at him. And the cop comes up and he's like, uh, he's like, what, what's going on? And the guy, the driver just goes, we're working. And the cop just goes, okay, have a nice day. And went back and got in his car and fucking drove away. And uh, the, That's the guy recording, he had his camera like down in his lap kind of recording it. So he could like hear it and kind of see it. And then after that, he's what like, what was like, this? fuck, I don't know what it was called. I think it was on Hulu. I can't remember. You'd have to ask Grant. He might remember. It's, it was really good, though. He followed around. Like, it was really cool. Uh, they just let him come in. Because, like, they're kind of, like, like they kind of want, like, they don't want to get caught, obviously. But they're they're above. But, yeah, so he goes, he goes, so what, like, what was that? Like, how come he just left? And the guy just, he's driving. He doesn't even look back at him. He just goes, we are in control. That's all he said, dude. <laughs> he fucking put a machine gun up Jeez. to the cop and just said, we're working. And the cop just goes, all right, have a good night, guys. That's literally what he said. And then just went and got in his car and fucking drove off. Jesus. Mexico's fucking wild, dude. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, like they're literally above the law. Like they don't give a fuck. They'll kill cops and shit. Pablo Escobar had like a U.S. senators killed, I'm pretty sure. Like crazy shit like that. All of the fucking, like, he had multiple, like, Colombian popu- uh, uh, politicians killed. The people in Medellin, in Colombia, like, loved him. He owned, like, the local soccer team, like, gave a bunch of money yeah. to the fucking locals and shit. Like, he was like a He, was like a he fucking guy, ran yeah. that shit. Yeah. Yeah. He's a legend. Nice guy. How do you, how do you think, <laughs> how do you think they smuggle drugs into the U.S. now? Because there's no way they're Same using, way like, they old always tactics. Did. You don't Why think not? that people have caught on to that? Like, there were, dude, they were just straight up fucking yeah, but how? walking you into t- airports and fucking paying off the guy working at the airport to. Why not, dude? If you work you for TSA and some guy gives stuff? you a fucking bag of $50,000 in cash, you're not letting them slide through with a couple kilos of cocaine? You work for TSA. Oh, you probably I am. fucking hate your I am job. I for sure. Like, That's what but, I'm saying. Yeah, but how do we know, like, like what other, there's got to be other, like, safeguards that they've put in place They're bringing in, like, boats and shit. I have heard they put it in submarines and then take it up the coast of California. That's fucking wild, dude. Yeah. It's just wild, the disposable fucking income that they have. Like, they just. (laughs) What does it cost? It's crazy. Pablo Escobar was saying they would just, like, have, like, two, like, a billion dollars a year. Just get of cash money because all their shit's cash. They're not fucking swiping yeah. credit cards and shit. He said like a billion dollars a year from their cartel would just like get like get eaten by rats or get like ruined. They'd bury it. They would just lose it. They'd bury like yeah. chest full of money and just fucking lose track of it. And uh, it came out on like the Forbes list that he was like worth forty billion dollars in like the nineteen eighties, and he was like fucking top twenty richest people in the world. And uh, his son, I was watching an interview with his son because his son's kind of a public person. Like people know who he is. He's not involved with the cartels. I don't think not like he doesn't run it anyways. He's like kind of a normal guy. Yeah. And I was watching an interview with him. He's like, yeah, when I was like 13, he's like, I asked my dad how much money he had. And he just goes, I have no idea. (laughs) And uh, when that Forbes released that list, his son was like, yeah, that's not even close. He has fucking way more money than that, dude. That, he had oh, a zoo. He I had like giraffes that. and shit. I saw that. Yeah, because they asked his son. And his son was like forty billion. Pfft. Yeah. Okay. He's like, guess. I probably had fucking forty billion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's nuts, dude. They do say that's how you can tell if someone's rich if they don't know how much money they have. Yeah, but his is because it's buried all over the fucking country, <laughs> yeah. dude. That's like, did cartels just write that? Sh- like, <clears throat> like. They just write that shit off, not not on their taxes, but like, <laughs> but like, dude, like a like saying, a load will get a load will get inter, intercepted or something, or like they'll get hit by another cartel and like get yeah. fucking five million dollars stolen from them, and well, it's just like oh, send another fucking load. His his was different, like so, uh, like El Chapo's like the biggest guy now 
and yeah. he's like he's way prison, like one tenth the size. He got out. I don't know if he's back. <laughs> I know he got out, dude. You know, dude. But he's like up. small beans compared to fucking Pablo. Yeah, he's like one tenth the size. But because Pablo Escobar ran all of the cartels, so after they killed him, it made the problem way worse. Because then there's just this power vacuum where these cartels all over the place start popping up. So then there became a bunch of them, which is way harder to take down or control or, like, work with. I mean, fuck, he's doing deals with U.S. senators and shit to get in. If they're working with him, that's some. It's making it somewhat better. He's not fucking killing people. He's not robbing shit. It, it's somewhat better if he has some kind of backdoor shit to get his drugs in so they can get their money. It works cleaner. You know, and you got like a good weed dealer. You don't have to go to some sketchy dude that you don't know. It's your buddy that sells weed. And you're like, hey, dude, let I me get know. some weed. He's like, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, It's nicer, you know? Then when you There's... have to deal with fucking 40 different cartels that are all fighting for power, fighting for different territories. They're killing each other. They're killing civilians. Like, yeah. they don't give a fuck about anyone. That's like but Mexico, they're all way smaller, but it's a way war. bigger problem now. Exactly. Like Mexico, there used to like, not be that because Pablo Escobar ran fucking everything. So yeah. everything went to him. So, like, there wasn't – these people weren't fighting as much. Like, because you fucking disrespect Pablo Escobar, you're fucked. You're not yeah, taking you're over. You're fucked. You yeah. wake up in a bag. <laughs> what did you say last episode? You fucking wake up dead. <laughs> wake up dead. Uh, you fucking wake up dead. No, I, I looked it up, and it says that – El Chapo's in a U.S. prison right now. It said the Court of Appeals refused to overturn his 2019 drug trafficking conviction despite a report that jurors had tracked the case in the media during his blockbuster trial. So it looks like they may have tried to get it thrown out because the jurors were tracking the case in the media. But then they, the U.S. refused to. Yeah, because they're scared that they're going to get fucking killed. <laughs> But like even El Chapo, like he's like the big, the biggest guy now. Like he's not even nearly as big as Pablo Escobar was. Yeah, biggest. <clears throat> Where's El Chapo from? Is he Mexican? Yeah. Because Pablo is Colombian, obviously. List of well-known drug lords. El Ch uh, Chapo's on there. Pablo Escobar, obviously. El Chapo's a cool name, though. What's that mean? Miguel Angel Felix Gallardo. Oh, I've heard of that. that guy Gallardo. He's known as the Godfather, El Padrino. That's dope. What's El Chapo? El Jefe de Jefes. The boss, is, the boss of the bosses. <laughs> That's dope. El Chapo is oh, Mexican sharing, slang is for shorty, dude. That's fucking dope. El Chapo. Dude, how uh, dope is it to be a drug lord and have a fucking nickname, dude? Yeah. Dude, there's a guy named Rick Ross. I it yeah, it's the like... original Rick Ross, dude. Rick Ross ripped In him LA. off. Rick Ross is a fucking badass. He was being supplied by the federal government. Look into that. He was being supplied all of his cocaine and like being released and shit by the fucking CIA. Yeah. After being convicted Ronald Reagan invented the more... crack rock, Logan. Yeah, okay, this said he bought it from a federal agent. Ross was sentenced to life imprisonment after being convicted of purchasing more than 100 kilos of cocaine from a federal agent during a sting operation. So, yep. so duh. He obviously bought it from a federal, from a federal agent. No, they were like supplying operation. it for a long time before. Like, I don't think oh. it was one time and they got him. Like, he fucking. They were he was like being supplied and like protected. Like, they were staying off of. They, they were letting him kind of continue his business. There was like undercover guys for a long time. They were get. He was getting all of his cocaine from the government. He didn't know. They were like giving it to him and selling it everywhere so they could take down more people or whatever. Yeah. It's like, uh, uh, fuck. What, what? I forgot what I was going to say now. But yeah, no, he, he, Oh, it's like uh, Marilyn Manson, dude. Not Marilyn Manson. Uh, Charles Manson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you ever looked into that shit? How the government was like doing LSD experiments on him and they were fucking letting yeah. him. He got arrested a bunch of times and every time the like local place that would arrest him like would get a call from upstairs and they fucking just had to let him go. They would never keep him in jail. Like they were teaching him how to use LSD to like mind control people. That's why how he started this cult because he never like killed anybody. Like his cult killed people and shit it's fucking wild look into it i'll i'll look into it for next for next episode <laughs> oh we're gonna have a fucking good one 
I'm gonna watch Alex Jones videos all week for next video for next episode. We're yeah. going fucking deep next <laughs> yeah. episode, dude. It's gonna be a four and a half hour episode. <laughs> Just regurgitating what Alex Jones says for four hours. <laughs> dude, I wish I could do that. I We'd wish I could do that. <laughs> if we could do that. All right. All right. You got anything thoughts, else? So. I I wanted to talk a little bit about DB Cooper, but I haven't finished the Oh, the I started thing. watching that documentary last night. I mean, I, I kind of want to watch it first, too. Yeah, let's finish it. He's fucking we'll dope. I want to buy a DB Cooper shirt, dude. Did <laughs> yeah. you see that? How, like, everyone was making shirts and shit? Yeah. Dan He's a Cooper. legend, dude. He got away with it. Dude. Yeah, it, was, it is Dan Cooper. DB Cooper actually, is cooler, though. And it well, was that's, just probably like not even, that's probably not his real name. I don't think Dan Cooper was a real person. No, that's just the that's name. what he wrote he down. He wrote on down his... on the thing, yeah. DB yeah. Cooper is a fucking way cooler name, dude. Yeah. And that was just a Cooper. mistake. Like a reporter heard it the yeah. wrong heard it wrong and Yeah. So let's finish that. We'll talk talk more about it. All right. That. But, uh anything else? What do we think, dude? No, just make sure you uh give us a five star review. Like and subscribe. Yeah, have a good YouTube. weekend. Have a good weekend. That's all I got. I think that's it, man. Yeah. Have a good night, everybody. We love you. Thanks for listening.